Bringing you local teams, highlights, and scores, this is KTTC Sports Extra. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. What's going on, friends, and welcome into Sports Extra. I'm Julie Mitchell, alongside Nick Spelliopoulos. A little rain isn't going to stop week seven of the high school football season. No, it certainly did not, Julian. Section seeding, conference races, it's all on the line in these last two weeks. We're going to start with a 5A matchup out in Owatonna. A trip east on 14, the John Marshall Rockets with a lot of momentum. With last week's win over Century, they meet the Owatonna Huskies. Minnesota Governor Tim Walls stopped by, oh. not to mention toughing out the rain, like we said at the top of the show. It's a decent flip. Conducting the coin toss before the kickoff. Side note, Rockets win and defer. So the Huskies got the ball and earlier on the drive converted on fourth and short to keep it alive. Send in Brennan Sletton from short yardage. Huskies on the board first. Extra point is good at 7 0. Rockets not scared of throwing it in the rain. Savvy Vath looks in the target of his favorite target, Eli Ledoux. Vath drops this right in the bucket for a big completion. No points came of it, though. Huskies took their next drive right to the Rockets' doorstep, and after the ball came loose and some referee deliberation, Freddie Nickel gets in for the touchdown. And the score from that one ended 32 14 in favor of the Owatonna Huskies. And the Mayo Spartans on the road taking on the top 6A team in the state, Eden Prairie Eagles. They fall 23-49. All right, let's go out to Zimbardo Mazeppa. Zimbardo Mazeppa in town to face Lord, the senior night for the Eagles. Big congrats to all those seniors on great careers. Let's get into the game now. Eagles on the move. QB Adam Selner pulls it down, turns the corner, and we'll find Pater. Lord on the board first in this one. We'll flex, too. Low later, Selner. Why does he selling? Chocolate. Touchdowns for days. Along with some chocolate. Breaking tackles, he gets in again. Eagles flying, up 14 zip. Second quarter, same score. Selling to drop him back this time. Oh, fire. That's Avery Crosby, though. The senior coming up with the INT. ZM fired up after the big turnover. Cougars on offense here. QB Tate Rash, nowhere to throw. Will take off, but Liam Barry. That's a strong left jab. Will punch that out. Deacon Langsdale jumps on it, a big turnover, and the Eagles will turn it into points. Ed Lovely, isn't he lovely? Scampers in seven more for Lord as the Eagles beat Zambrano Mazeppa at home 42-8, the final there. I do believe this sets up a pretty, pretty big matchup next week. Lord against Stuartville Eagles on a six-game win streak heading into that one. In Casson, Coach Joel Swanson and the seventh-ranked Comets, they had another big win last week. They brought in the Breck Mustangs tonight. Already up 22-0 in this one. Comets kept pounding the rock. Dominic Mann finds the end zone from short distance. PAT was good. 29-0 Comets. After a Breck turnover on downs, Kyle Nelson takes a deep shot. Emmett, Ricky, huge gain. Not able to find the end zone, though. Comets back in the red zone, so they call the man. Dominic Mann, another touchdown, brushing off a few Mustangs in the process, making it look easy for another score tonight. Breck ran the ensuing kickoff back for a touchdown, missed the extra point. Casson bled the clock. They would go on to win big tonight. The final score from that one, a 30-point difference, 36-6. to six. As for the Byron Bears, they responded well after their loss to Casson Manorville last week. Winning big 47 to nothing. Adam Glenn, he was a workhorse, 27 carries, 228 yards, and five touchdowns on defense. They held the uh, Falcons to 159 yards and forced three turnovers. Big win there. Well, three games down. We still have more to go, including a marquee nine-man matchup in Spring Grove. Plus, our Matt Rainier joins the show with action from the Chosen Valley. Find that. out if Chatfield can hold off the Dover Yoda Eagles after the quick two-minute timeout. <laughs> 